All right, new at 5 o'clock here today, following that online auction earlier this week. Today, all of the merchandise previously housed inside the Red Lobster in Waterloo, well, it got picked up and put into a U-Haul as the Waterloo restaurant, unfortunately, has closed permanently now. Happened earlier this week. Red Lobster, one of three major businesses to shut their door in the city since the start of the year. KWW reporter David Warrington live right now from our newsroom. David, you had a chance to talk with Katie Susong. She's the new president and CEO of Grow Cedar Valley about the state of some local businesses. Tell us more about what she says. Ron, there have been a few big name businesses shutting their doors within the calendar year. However, Grow Cedar Valley still feels there are plenty of reasons to feel positive about businesses locally. Within the past couple of weeks, hy V announced the Logan Avenue location will be shutting its doors, while the Waterloo Red Lobster was one of dozens of locations to shut down nationwide. Back in January, the CVS on Franklin Street also shut down. I did speak to Grow Cedar Valley President and CEO Katie Susong about 45 minutes ago. She tells me despite the closures, there's no need to be alarmed. I know in, in one part of Waterloo alone, there has been over $50 million of capital expenditure in the last two years. And for us, that's a signal that there is great things happening in the community of Waterloo. Um, it really is uh, an indication of what's to come. Sue Song also noted some events they have coming up looking to put a focus on small businesses as well as young professionals in the Cedar Valley in an effort to continue expanding business opportunities locally.